Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here and welcome back to another 2-Tick Tutorial. Now today as you can see behind me, we are back on the Kaizen Craft server and that's because I'm going to show you a useful alternative to the slash smite command and this alternative will work with the Essentials permissions. Now just one thing to add, I will be showing you how to do this using the Permissions X plugin. If you're not sure about this plugin or if you want more information then you can watch my previous video that I did about that plugin and I will link that video down in the description of this video. But assuming that you have that installed, then you're good to go, and I will now show you how that works. So, as you can see, I have got Shadow Bunny on the server to help me out once again, and I'm basically going to start by showing you what the slash smite command actually does, for those of you that don't already know. So if I type into to, uh, chat slash smite shadow bunny, then you'll see that a lightning bolt comes down from the sky and will smite shadow bunny just like that. Now this is very fun, but unfortunately this does not work with the Essentials plugin, so I'm going to show you a variation that does. And that variation is the lightning command. So basically, to add that command to Shadow Bunny, here's what I need to do. I type in slash pex, then user, and then that's followed by the username, which of course is Shadow Bunny in this case, then add, and now it's the permission name. So the permission name for this command is essentials.lightning. Just like, if I can spell this correctly, lightning. There we go. So that has now been added, essentials.lightning. And the other one that I need to do is the exact same command, but at the end I just put dot others, just like that. Now if we hop over to the Shadow Bunny account, you'll see here that if I'm looking at this tree and I were to type in slash lightning just like this, a lightning bolt will come from the sky and strike the tree just like that. And if I were to type into chat slash lightning space kaizen, then a lightning bolt will come down and strike kaizen just like that. Very simple, very easy to use. Now you will notice that Shadow Bunny is on very low health, but that is not the damage that one lightning bolt does, it's just I was doing a bit of testing with him before and so that's why he's had a few hits here. Now, as well as adding this command to a player, you may also want to remove this command from a player at a later stage. So if you want to do that, the command is as follows. Slash pex once again, then user, and of course the player name, which is Shadow Bunny, remove, and then the name of the command that you want to remove, which is of course essentials.lightning, just like this. And the second one, essentials.lightning.others. So you can remove just one or both of those in that way. Now you'll see here, if I hop back into the Shadow Bunny account and I look at the same tree and type in slash lightning, it will not work. And if I type in slash lightning kaizen, you will see I do not have access to that command either. So that's a useful way of uh, taking that permission away, which you may want to do at a certain stage. Now, as well as adding and removing that permission from an individual, you may also want to do it for a group of people on your server. So you may have a donor group, for example, that you might want to give that command to. So if you want to do that, first of all, you have to create a group. And again, if you're not sure how to do that, I did explain that in the last tutorial, which is in this video description link. But once the group has been created, you add the players to it. And I've added Shadow Bunny to a group on this server called Zeus for the purposes of this tutorial. So once the group's been created and your members are in there, the command to add this permission is as follows. Slash pex, then group, then Zeus, which is obviously, of course, the name of the group, then add, followed by the permission, which is essentials.lightning, just like that. And the second one to add is essentials.lightning.others. Now, once I hop back over to Shadow Bunny, you will see that if I type in slash lightning once more, if I can spell it correctly, lightning, just like that, you will see the lightning bolt hit the, uh, the hills over there. And again, slash lightning space kaizen, and a thunderbolt will come down and strike kaizen. Now, once again, you may have already guessed this command, but if you want to remove these uh, permissions from a group, it's slash pex, then group, then the group name Zeus, remove, and the command. So essentials dot lightning, just like this. And the following um, one, same again, but essentials dot lightning dot others, like that. And now, once more, we'll hop back into Shadow Bunny, and you will see that if I try to do those previous two commands, I will not have access to them. So it's just a very useful uh, way of adding a very similar plugin to the slash smite, but you also have the extra option of sending a Thunderbolt down to a block that you're looking at, which I think is pretty cool and can create some cool effects and have a bit of fun with that sort of thing. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that and it is a good alternative because unfortunately slash smite does not work with the essentials commands. Well guys, that's it for today. These two tick tutorials are of course always very brief and hopefully very informative too. So I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.